I want to appreciate God for what he's doing in our midst. And I would like you and ask you to be sensitive. At times, when I talk to you, I try to be very practical. There are some of us sitting down here. Don't let the devil play a game together with your flesh to deceive you by telling you that you can't go on again. It's not true. Some of us that are here, you sat down in one spot and watched Melim season one and two in one spot. You have strength. You have strength. But the problem is that when it has to do with God, the flesh will riot. So I counsel you to reach your elastic limit, reach your breaking point, break it. One of the things you learn in camps like this is not only the word of God. You learn how to last in God's presence. You learn how to be stretched. Hello, sir. How to be stretched. You learn to be stretched. There are things that will not come to you by laying on of hands. Somebody has to lead you through it. Somebody has to show you that you can sit down 10 hours, 7 hours. Some of you that are here right now, if you check, if you check, you will discover that many struggles that haunted you, even prior to your coming here, Many, many struggles you we are having, you can't see them again. You know why? Calculate the time you are spending in the presence of God. That's why. You wake up in the morning, you have your morning devotion, you take your bath, you rush down here. From around 8 o'clock, something is being brooded upon you here till 12 one down. You go and take a little rest. You are offline. You are not calling anybody. You are not receiving any serious call. You switched off your phone. You sat down in the evening. You come back again. In the midnight, somebody will wake you and say, we are praying for one hour plus here and like that. I, and it seems as if everything worries and depression. You came depressed. You feel like dying. You can't see it again. Is the quality time you gave God. If you go back and you don't try to maintain the wood upon the altar, you don't put wood on the altar, anywhere there is coldness, you must see unwanted materials. One day, a son took me to his bakery. When I got to his bakery, that's when I understood the meaning of fire. They had just finished baking bread. The fire, I mean old bakery, not these modern ones where everything is enclosed now. The old kind of factory, bakery. The fire that they set, they had just tried to scatter it, to put it out. But it was not completely out yet. They told me to stand outside. I said, I will enter. They said, man of God, you can't enter. Stand outside. They, I said, for where? I will enter. I enter. They said, stop here. I said, I'm not stopping here. Take me to where you kindle the fire and bake the bread. 
They say, no, now, man of God, you can't go there. I said, I must go there. They pushed me in. The first counsel I gave myself was when I saw the young men that were baking the bread, they were only wearing underwear. They have buckets of cold water. Buckets of cold water packed by the side. Every five to ten minutes, they will come out and receive that baptism. Pour them water. Pour them water. They will plunge back in again. I put my head there. That's when I saw the ooze of fire. The thing was so hot that I asked the brother, I said, where am I? I said, where is this? He said, sir, I told you not to enter. There, women don't go close to that thing. Because of their ovaries. If they go there, that thing has the capacity to damage their ovaries. They don't go there. I now knew that there will be no go area if I contact fire. Lizards don't live there. You can't find a cockroach who burn you. Can't, you can't come around there. Mosquito, he can't cross there. He can't cross there. By itself, the entire area is sanitized. It's fumigated. No living thing lives around that place. Even at times, when the fire rests, because lizards already understand what happens in that address, they don't live close by. So when the fire is cooled at times, you still won't see house fly. It's cool, though, yet you won't see house fly. The old is better. You didn't hear me. What did I say now? Jesus, Jesus finished drinking the... You know, the old is better. Some of the things we have now are diluted. The old is better. Hello, can I tell you something? Or oh, you don't want me to tell you? Can I? I drank Fanta when it was around four, five naira. Three naira. When you drink Fanta that time, you will discover that what you are drinking now is color. Pure juice. The old is better. When somebody gets born again, he's born again. Somebody like Rahab of Harlot, Rahab the Harlot of Jericho, we get born again like this and from there maintain work with God. Now, our there is no theology we have not brought out to the defense self. Our salvation is gradual. They will tell you you can't be born again in one day. You get born again today. For the meantime, you can still be managing Michael Jackson's song. From there, you will now stop Michael Jackson. Then, uh -huh. the old is better. I'm telling you, the ancient is better. When you come into a generation, you can pick few things that helps you Pass the message in the generation. You can model some things, bring some modernism to some structures, but the core must be ancient. Don't do anything about the core. About the core, the core, the main matter, the main matter inside must remain ancient. You are not catching what I'm saying. Are you sleeping here? If you are sleeping here, it's from your village. They've remembered you. They have come after you. They followed you here. Lay your hands on your head and say, Father! I rebuke the forces out of my life. How can you people be following me everywhere? Can you follow me everywhere I go? 
You want to come and block road for me here again? When you know that my church is waiting for me, there is nothing serious there. How can you be closing your come and closing your eyes here? Do you have a, do you have epilepsy? Why are you closing your eyes here? You are too young for that. Uh, uh, we slept late. Uh -huh. When you go back home, you sleep. There is a saying in our mother tongue: "Ebu ali onod, ebu ali egu." When situation change, you have to change dancing step. You don't dance the way you were dancing when they are playing melody. When you hear the drum beats of war, you change dancing step. Things have changed. You don't. You don't act the same way you have been acting before. The old is better. Don't allow anything to happen to the core, to the ancient. I tell you something again that will shock you. Can I? My father drove Volvo many years ago. You know what they call that thing? They call it Pan. Pan. P-A-N. Pan. What they are calling Pan is raw metal. When you jam that Volvo, at times when you hit that Volvo in a block, in a rod, it will bend the rod. The front of the bobo will depress a little. What they are producing now is not pan, it's fiber. Kekem and pep. We just walk away one, walk away one, walk away one, and enter your front, and then you jam the back a little. Bonnet, windscreen, engine, radiator, everything will scatter. That's the kind of spirit, doctrine, and consecration you are carrying. Something, any little heat will scatter. Just any little collision like this. Your prayer life, fasting life, consecration, determination, sacrifice. You will tear your Bible and say, God, I'm not reading again. You and angels should finish it. You and your angels should read the same thing. I stopped in the throne of me. God, you people should continue. They call it pan with the eyes of a boy. I can still remember it. Pan. When you slap it like this, you, you needed to go to a, you needed to go to orthopedic. You slap the bonnet like this, you go to orthopedic. When you jam the door, you hear boom. The old is better. Model, you can model, remodel something. For example. I give you an example, can I? Some time ago, some of the fathers who carried God felt that the way to show consecration, the way to show that they were carrying God was to make sure that they don't look anything appreciative. They don't brush their teeth. If they tell you, good money, from, from the distance where you are, you won't feel like replying. They will wear green shirt, blue jacket, red trouser, and black Maria. I mean, um, <laughs> it's Maria, that boot, they will wear it. And then the tie will be yellow. When you say, excuse me, brother, what are you wearing? He said, ah, Jesus is coming. And you have time to see what I'm wearing. Brother, you're not serious. We can remodel that. And keep the call. You are not hearing me. Are you hearing me? Another generation rose up and said, no, 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 no. We can't look like this. Ah, ah, how about, what is this one? What's this one? Red, blue, green. Ah, ah, ah. What if we can't look like this? And, and this trouser is too bogus. We can't wear it. What kind of jacket is this? They say, no, we need to look good. We need to look tush. We need to look cool. In their trying to look good, cool, and tush, they also went extreme. 
they become so naked that they are a distraction in the church. In fact, it seems as if it is better we should go back and wear the, the brown trousers of our father. So that we can be saved. How can we run away from nightclub? Run away from, from all the all the distractions from brothers, hotels, motels. We run away from all those temptations only to come here and daughters of Zion want to kill us. Don't distract us. We came here to see something. Package yourself. Don't distract us here. The old is better. I know what I'm saying. We can remodel some things. In the measure that the Holy Ghost directs. But what did I say we must keep? We must keep the core. Keep the core. 